We're bleeding blue in today's video. Yukon, Yukon, Huskies, woof. Hey, welcome to Lurks Lessons, a monthly channel where I explain what you need to know in becoming a sports fan of a professional or collegiate team. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing by clicking the button below. Ah, the early 2000s. You remember those days of purchasing the first iPod, listening to boy bands or hip-hop greats, or chatting away with your friends on instant messenger before texting was even considered an option. But you also remember hearing about a dominant women's college basketball team known as the Huskies of Yukon, and now you want to become a fan of Yukon Nation before March Madness tips off. My name is Jeff Lurkey, and here's what you need to know and how to be a Yukon Huskies fan. Located 27 miles east of Hartford in Storrs, Connecticut, the Huskies play with 11 other teams in the American Athletic Conference, or American for short, since recently joining the conference in 2013. Before that, they were in the Big East Conference for 28 seasons. Their colors are navy blue, white, and gray. The team plays the majority of their games at Harry A. Gamble Pavilion on campus, an aluminum dome that's 130 feet high and has the capacity to hold 10,000 167 loyal fans. Since having a women's basketball program since 1974, the Huskies' accomplishments are astounding. Across the Big East and American conferences, the school has won 11 NCAA championships, four of them in a row, which is an NCAA record, 19 Final Four appearances, 23 conference tournament champions, 24 conference regular season champions, and 30 consecutive NCAA tournament appearances. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Since the WNBA's inaugural draft in 1997, 20 Yukon Huskies have been selected in the first round, with five of them going first overall. Now how about that? Fun fact. The Huskies have some notable streaks that will make you want to check my research. They have the longest winning streak of both men's and women's in college basketball history with 111 straight wins. Beginning the night on November 23rd in 2014 with a victory against Creighton and ending with an overtime loss against Mississippi State in the 2017 NCAA Final Four on March 31st, 2017. Guys, that's two years, four months, and nine days of not losing a game. Or an easier way of looking at it is 860 days. Another phenomenal streak is they have the most consecutive NCAA Division I Final Four appearances, men's or women's, with 11, beginning with their first since 2008. Now that we got the basics covered, let's learn some outstanding legends in the school's history so we can start name dropping. The UConn women's basketball program has had a ton of exceptional athletes that have proudly worn the Husky jersey. We've honestly had a hard time narrowing the list down but these four athletes we can argue were the best of the best. At number four is Brianna Stewart. Playing the center position from 2012 to 16, Stewart became a four-time national champion with four-time most outstanding player in the NCAA tournament, even winning as a freshman. Guys, not all collegiate athletes even get the chance to play in the NCAA tournament, and this phenom won all four years. Three-time Naismith Award winner and two-time Wade Trophy winner, Stewart went on to become the first overall pick by the Seattle Storm in 2016. Her recent accolades in the WNBA include Rookie of the Year in 2016, two-time WNBA All-Star, and a WNBA Champion in 2018. Hard to fathom she's number four on our list, but that's just the beginning. At number three, we got Diana Taurasi. Suiting up as point slash shooting guard for the Huskies from 2000 to 2004, Taurasi was a three-time NCAA champion, two-time Naismith Award winner, Wade Trophy winner in 2003, and three-time Nancy Lieberman Award winner. In 2004, she was the first overall pick in the WNBA draft going to the Phoenix Mercury and professionally accumulated some sick honors. Three-time WNBA champion, two-time WNBA Finals MVP, and nine-time WNBA All-Star. Get this, she's also currently the WNBA's all-time scoring leader with over 8,500 points. At number two, we have Sue Bird. Calling the shots as point guard for UConn Nation from 1998 to 2002, Bird was a phenom facilitator racking up over 580 assists. Two-time NCAA champion, Naismith and Wade Trophy award winner in 2002, 
and three-time Nancy Lieberman Award winner, it was a no-brainer that she was another first overall pick in the WNBA draft in 2002. Playing for the Seattle Storm her entire career so far, Bird has cemented herself as the current WNBA all-time assist leader with over 2,800. Oh, she's also a three-time WNBA champion and an 11-time WNBA All-Star. Finally, our number one player you need to know as a Husky fan is Maya Moore. This incredible athlete had accomplished so much that we don't have enough time to go through all of her achievements. The highlights for UConn Nation are two-time NCAA champion, two-time Naismith Award winner, and three-time Wade Trophy Award winner. First overall pick by the Minnesota Lynx in 2011, you see a trend here? Moore professionally became an ultimate winner, achieving greatness by being a four-time WNBA champion, a finals MVP in 2013, and a five-time WNBA All-Star. Needless to say, this woman can downright ball. Not only are all of these women incredible talent playing here in the States, they also represented the country in international play with USA Basketball. They collectively have won 31 gold medals. Mad respect, ladies. Mad respect. So the time that you were watching your reality shows like Survivor or Fear Factor in the early 2000s, Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi were establishing a dynasty at UConn in women's college basketball. But before the team was even considered to be a powerhouse, they needed a leader to even be considered competitive. And that is head coach Luigi Gino Oriema. There's a lot to love at the University of Connecticut, but if anything, this guy is definitely the fan favorite when it comes to being a UConn fan. With an overall head coaching record of 1,027 wins to 135 losses, the Italian-born legendary coach was hired back in 1985. Prior to his hiring, the Huskies had only one, that's right, one winning season in its 10 years of being a program up to the 85 season. Since then, Gino has established himself as one, if not the greatest, collegiate men's or women's head basketball coach of all time. 11-time NCAA champion, 8-time Naismith Coach of the Year, and was inducted to the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2006. Just incredible. Winning all the time not only gets you national attention, it also creates a huge target on your back to be beaten by each team that you face. And this couldn't be more true to another storied team in women's college basketball that UConn has faced throughout the years at historic heights. And they are our rival. No, I'm not talking about Notre Dame, who honestly are today a close second. I'm talking about the rival in women's college hoops, the Lady Volunteers of Tennessee. Both programs combined for 19 NCAA championships. Take a moment to let that sink in. UConn has faced off against the Lady Vols a total of 22 times, with the overall record in favor of the Huskies being 13-9. Also, these two programs met each other in the NCAA championship title game four times, with UConn achieving victory each contest. The importance of the rivalry can also be looked at by its attendance for some of their games. They have the largest regular season attendance in women's history back in 2006 and has a tie for the largest attendance in women's basketball history when they met in the Final Four in 2002. Even though it's been a while since the two programs faced each other back in 2007, a future meeting has been established between the two schools in regular season play on January 23, 2020. Let the countdown begin. So while you're rocking out to Nickelback's hit song, How You Remind Me, that you downloaded from Napster, UConn and the Lady Vols' Final Four game at that time was the record for the largest attendance for a women's basketball game. All right, I know that was a lot, so let's recap. UConn plays in the American Athletic Conference. They have 11 NCAA championships. An endless list of incredibly gifted talents that are killing it in the WNBA. Gino is the godfather and you dislike the Lady Volunteers. So, support the blue and white during March Madness and for the following years to come, because being a Husky fan is just as good as the ice cream at the Yukon Dairy Bar on campus, a tradition of excellence. Bleed blue. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's Lurks Lessons video. Please consider subscribing to the channel and also leave some comments what other cool things Yukon fans need to know. While you're at it, also leave some suggestions what other fan bases I need to showcase next. Finally, give it up to my Siberian Husky Yuma who graciously took the time out of his busy schedule to be on today's video. Alright, we'll see you guys next time.